Leave that wants to have a good landing stage. It's yeah. super important because you will do really well with items on this hero, but you need the items. If you don't have items, this hero begins to feel very useless very quickly. So yeah, you're good versus TA, but in the laning stage. Later on in the game, when TA has a blink, has a death, so has a BKB, and you're just sitting there under farmed, she will two shot you. You are not a hero that has a lot of armor. You're not very strong against physical damage. So it's really important Toby has a good laning stage because you nailed the, the what was the nail on the head that I was looking for there. That's the one. This Beastmaster opened up the map so much for them. They don't have that this game. They have yeah. the scaling. They don't hit buildings particularly well. They do have this Morphling who's super strong. He has to worry about the Doom here. Really worried for Entity's draft if the Viper does not have a good laning stage. Toby needs to be shutting down his lane, doing Viper things. There's a reason we don't see a lot of Viper nowadays. It's because you've got to crush your lane. Mm -hmm. And as we can already uh, see, Matthew starting in the tri-lane formation. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be a scary time right now. And Entity, I don't know if they want to try and bring Fishman or even if Fishman's gonna really be able to do that much. He's skilled up Glimpse, uh, which obviously is very good in like sort of these 2v1s. We've seen that become the more predominant build, but I don't know if that would really be able to get them a ton of value in this tri lane here. And he is just gonna be heading up top. Uh, so maybe they can put some really good bullying onto... Uh... Oh wait, Matthew, yeah, he's coming down here. Maybe they can put some good bullying onto this, uh, this off lane from EG and just try and shut down Whisper a lot, but he feels like he has ways back into it. I think you made a really good point here. See how Whisper's blocking on the top lane, though? He yeah. knows he's alone, so he's going to let this wave. Fishman's trying to de-block it here. Get it back in there, but Whisper knows he's alone. The game plan is set. Matthew's going to make sure Toby has no game, and I think this is 100% the correct choice. Damn, dude. They, they're oh. they're going to mess him up. <laughs> Toby. <laughs> Poor Toby. <laughs> Oh, Katomi can kind of stand up there, but yeah, they're they're gonna bully. Oh, he TP'd oh, out, so they just gave him a little bit. Even that this little bit of a help does help. So you will get level three first. I think when Viper gets the strongest, is if he hit, if he hits three before you, the lane is completely over. So we'll have mm. to see what they can do in the first couple levels here. But I'm gonna imagine at this level three timing, if you have two points in Scorched Earth, when Viper is only uh -huh. level two, you might have a window here. Okay, trying to whittle him down a little bit. In the mid lane, Sea Smile facing off against Stormstorm. We're going to try and get some of these denies and pressure back the old Invoker as much as possible. Just throw out that EMP. Decides not to eat that one. And at least at the early goings, when is it that this becomes a pretty big problem for the uh, Invoker? I think it's just with levels of TA. Okay. I would imagine just level 3 once you get to that bonus 45 damage here. For sea small and storm stormer is going for the boss wex build this time around Ooh. Ooh. whisper getting first blood in there very well done yeah, very nice but yeah i was mentioning before he's not going to this game because he knows he has the morphling and the viper his cores this game no longer have stones so he kind of has to fit that role for the team yeah he has to uh have himself a, a more active phase early as well it feels like um and at least down bottom here panda gonna get off one of these poles or a half pull just gets the range creep well played there and the wave now going to push back out into uh the side of evil geniuses well katomi i'm gonna try and steal as much gold as possible while doom is in creating a lot of gold so he gets courier sniped yes he will well played by Bounty, as uh -oh. you often see. Yeah, I mean, he did get his boots, but however, I think this lane for Vakaz is now going to start to get really hard. Viper, he's going to get hit that level 3 first. Katomi not taking any EXP from him there, but top lane, yeah, looks like some action's happening on Fishman here. Tries to get away. Does not have that many places to go. Is Matthew going to chase this? Matthew spots Fishman here. Does have Ice Shard, Snowball, Fishman with the Glimpse back up in three seconds. Still willing to battle him. Just going toe-to-toe -to -toe against this guy. Both I don't tangling. think Fishman wins this one, but okay. I I, 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 I don't know. I really don't. I, I, I do know. He's not winning that one. You can't Glimpse a Snowball, so see oh, you no, later. I, meant like, 
I don't oh, know you don't what know what he's, he's doing. doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. Well, he goes down. Maybe he wanted to die. You know, he comes back with full resources. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. He the one thing that they... Too. Yeah, for sure. That was great. But then I get the glimpse here, too. One thing that they cannot do, though, is pressure Watson. Fishman, okay. he's killable in this level. And they might kill him however many times. I'm not entirely sure, but Watson should not die in this lane whatsoever. And that's the more important thing for Entity here. Mm -hmm. Not able to run down Katomi. Did the old double back on him. Does have a couple sentries in tow. And Panda going to have to bring out some of his own while Toby still taking some heat. But so far, 22-8 and eight versus the 19-0. and 0. You mentioned that this one could start to become a little bit tough for him, and it's happening. It's over. Uh, cause... The bot, bot lane's over. Like, if you're EG now, with yeah. Panda teeping back and Pakaz not having a lane, he does have mana boots and he's maxing Devour now because he realizes he can't go bottom anymore. He's level 3, he has 2 points in Devour, Viper's level 4, and top lane Whisper actually ends up killing Fishman again. We talked about how many times Fishman might die. It might be a lot this game, but Watson shouldn't die as he is okay. top of the CS at least. I don't know if he'll be top of network for long just because of how many times Fishman has gone down in this top lane. Stormstormer throws out the tornado to keep C Smile back and has been able to keep up his net worth pretty well. 23 and 6 versus the 26 and 3. So that thinking, lane going good. But yeah, bottom rough. I'm just thinking how mad I would be if I am Pacaz right now. Like, you can't go up. This guy picks Viper against you. <laughs> and what gold you do have, Katomi's continuously hitting you with two points in the Janata, stealing 20 gold per hit here. Get it's away. frustrating. Yeah. Well, he, he's got dreams of a Midas. I think these arcane boots at least do salvage Radiant it. He can play this chain lightning, almost like a PA dagger or something. Wait, this but they might bring salvage in heroes? It. Oh, that is huge. Matthew with the move over, finding Toby. Another chain lightning available. Doesn't even need it. But maybe he wanted it because the creep ended up getting the kill. So it was split three ways. It's fine. Yeah. That kill is huge, though. This is like the Viper conundrum, right? You play the hero, you win your lane. But this hero is really easy to gank. And a couple ganks later, it can feel like your good start turns into an unplayable scenario for you. They saw that the bounty hunter was there. Matthew waits for the high five, gets it. <laughs> and then they run away from each other. We're going to start. Matthew might keep making these moves around the map a little bit, depending upon how it goes. The rotation in towards mid on C-Smile. Won't actually go for the all-in move there. A little bit difficult to gank this TA. Yeah, it'll it'll be a little bit difficult. I think they're doing a pretty decent job, though, of Storm Stormer burning the mana of the TA so she can't continuously use Toby. the fraction. Toby. Not again. In trouble. They bring in one fishman there with the glimpse, but Toby going to fall. Panda, the one that gets that kill. Cause very much back in it, all off the work of Matthew. And we're also seeing a little bit of the effect of the Shakiro pick. Viper is the yeah. hero that likes to right click a lot. And if you slow his attack speed, he can't get those stacks of poison up. Makes it so Pacaz can just man up easily. But obviously the man of the hour here is Matthew with these ganks. I was a little concerned with the fact that he stayed top for so long, but it looks like their plan was like, just su suffer for the first like five minutes here, because I'll come gank the Viper continuously after that. Another way of dealing with it. I also, I'm, I'm going to look at the damage that this chain lightning creep did in the, at the end of the game. Uh, <laughs> I'll hold you to it. I, I feel like this has gotten them so much value and just going in for those arcanes has helped a ton. Uh, he is going to get maybe messed with a little bit here by Fishman and company, but gets all the CS from that one and Panda moving over. Looks like they're going to be okay. But yeah, I, I want to see how much the damage was that was done as they block out that camp uh, because I feel like it's salvaged this a lot and allowed some of these ganks to actually bear fruit. Yeah. See, smile. It's the DD. They're on him. Fraction. Turn. Tornado. Feels bad, man. Yep. They're putting so many resources on stopping this Doom from farming. And I wonder... Alright, Katomi, he might be okay. Nice path. Connects onto both of them. Oh, they have Matthew snowball. still has Snowball. Goes in onto one. 
No more shards. <laughs> what a weird fight. What the hell is going on this game? Fishman? I'm worried for this man right now. He's level 3. He's a fish. He's, he's just running around. Is this going to be one of those games where you just start level 6 at 12 minutes into the game? As he's desperately I... trying to get EXP in the mid lane here, sharing with Stormstorm, or not an ideal scenario. Radiant structures are yeah. Uh, no, and he, uh, like, he can only do things around creep waves, too. He, he doesn't have any points of Thunderstrike, just the two in Glimpse. Uh, yeah, he's, he's broke as a joke. Um, even if he gets the Tome, which he's gonna have to, like, it's gonna be pretty bottom. bad. Oh my god. Doom! Got him! Matthew right on top! And they will find Toby and bring Denied? him down. Denied? Uh, oh no, he went for the Meteor Hammer instead. So Toby does go down Pekaz, but they're able to bring down Pekaz right afterwards. Finishes off his Midas as they run away. That would have required some insane coordination from Entity to do that, because Storm Stormer couldn't deny. He needed to get his combo yeah. off if they want to come. So it would have had to been Katomi to get that deny there. But not a big deal. They made the trade. In a way, it's not a big deal, but at the same time, it is a big deal. If you look at the perspective of, oh, you traded the Doom for Viper, that's fine, but Viper's a hero that does not enjoy playing a game like this, where he's right. dying three times in a row, doesn't have the best comeback mechanic. And on the side of EG, you know, this Doom is still, what, top four net worth right now? And all of the, the sort of other cores are up towards the top of the net worth at this point, except for Toby. Though. And he is going to be in a world of hurt. Has stick charges with the Spirit Siphon. Living for a while. Pops them now, but will be brought down. So Toby says, I don't want to be bottom anymore. I'm going the other side. As the Meteor Hammer lands, and they're going to connect onto Panda. Find that kill. That was a much needed rotation from Toby. I am so happy he didn't go back bottom lane. Making yeah. that kill, killing that DP. That DP, this is how close this early game has been. That DP was number one net worth. After one death, that's crazy. drops to the bottom, basically, with Toby. Yeah, and Toby, now very much a, a hero. Uh, granted, it's still not great. Yeah, it's not ideal, has... but it's it's salvaged. Okay, Katomi. Tries to get out of there. Meteor Hammer, not going to connect. He had the snowball. Matthew, though, has to be careful backing out of here. Kaz says, I don't want any more of this action. I see people walking up here. I'm running away. Fishman tries to find the angle for the glimpse. But Pekaz hiding, hiding, hiding in the trees. Doesn't quite connect there. And will be able Chris to escape. Chris Lucky bought him. Interesting. interesting. Very interesting. I don't think he wants to be there. He definitely uh, he doesn't definitely want to be here. Want... Yeah, that's not a place to be. <laughs> so, see, Smile has her fraction back up, though, and now turns to fights as Fishman. You want to glimpse me? Fine, glimpse me. All right. And, and now, see, wanna Smile there. does want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chase, they kill. Whisper also takes down Toby Top? What in the Sam hell is happening? <laughs> the tornado into Meteor Hammer combo is going to connect from Stormstormer, but. I mean, except for him and Watson, this, uh, everybody's dying. I thought when they glimpsed back Chris Luck there, that would go differently. But Fishman did not have, I'm not sure, he probably didn't have mana for Kinetic Field, so he just walked out of the Static Storm. There was yeah. no Meteor Hammer cast there. So he just walked away, then he's like, alright, I guess I'll turn this now. Very interesting, as we'll see if this one works, surely. Well. Kinetic Field is going to drop. Ice Path to try and get him out of trouble, but Sea Smile will die. Yeah, so it turns out if you hit your spells, you, you'll get the kill. True. Very good. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I don't think it was together. his fault. I think he just didn't have mana, as he does have a build that... You see a lot of Arcane Boots nowadays on Heroes, so you don't have mana problems, but he's going for the Tranquil Boots, so he's got to do the, the quick map. There. Um, Meteor Hammer in towards mid. Whisper tracked. Trying to get towards those greaves so he can purge the stuff off of them, but we'll have the mech after this comes out, although not enough mana for it. Still, they keep their tower alive for the moment. Yeah, they could have went there, but I respect the fact they didn't. Static Storm just got off cooldown. It would have been quite the commitment. But because Glimpse is available here, but there's also a Doom. Who sees who first? Walks out, spots him. 
Static Storm Kinetic tries to get away. Meteor Hammer lands. At least get your Midas off. It's not going to happen. He's going to die. And maybe looking for more. These track kills, they can become important. And that's a big reason why... I don't... Nah, Glimpse, I, he might get Glimpse here. Oh, walked into the ice path. Just out of oh, range. He, he, he'll be in Getting range. closer. Getting closer. No! Panda. Panda's gonna die. Just glorious gold there. So much. So much money. I mean, it gives 130 for him, 40 for everyone else. Yeah. Not bad. And... They also, you know, have gotten Toby a couple of Spirit Vessel charges now because he decided to go for that item. So, more options. I'm uh, down for it, yeah. Not bad, not bad. I'm curious if he's going to go into... We see some Vipers go into the Aghanim Scepter nowadays. Who right. did Glimpse? Oh, Crystal. Just trying to get out of harm's way. Oh, Tornado. Sidestep. Gets away from that one. Panda walks back in. I mean, they're all under vision. They've they've got to find a way to shut down Katomi's like value here. He's he's getting so much out of these shadow walks. They have a lot of things they need to worry about because we did talk about this morphling as well. Uncontested at the moment, completely just yeah. farming for free up here. Sure, Doom is doing that as well, but this is what Doom does. I was gonna mention before one of the reasons why Doom is getting so popular now is they changed it so when you die. You don't lose your Devour. Before, if you died, your Devour would just go away. You wouldn't get the gold. So even mm. if you do die a few times in this Doom, you're, you're still farming. Speaking of him dying a few times. Does he just get a Doom off first? Doesn't look like it. Matthew Snowball breaks the Meteor Hammer. It will not matter. He is way dead. And now Matthew going to get gone. glimpsed back in too. Doesn't have a Snowball. Ice Path connects onto three. Fishman taking a couple <laughs> punches from Matthew. It's brought very low, but not enough for the kill. And it's all going entity. And this bounty hunter is a complete nuisance with the glimpse. You, you need to figure out a plan. Wait a minute. Right Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The silence. Oh, pass. Mr. C smile made the move over. Gets the free kill with the DD onto the invoker because of the TA trap silence. And C smile still living through all of this. You want to fight too? Get over here. Oh my god, he missed uphill, but another connection, a double kill for C Smile. He literally stood in front of them and said, come at me. They didn't have detection for that, and then the moment he melded, oh, all right, Watson getting some revenge here. Snowball comes through, the punch, they find him, Fishman, just when we talk about how things are going good for good old Entity, <laughs> did EG make that play? I mean, this one's just a slugfest. 25 kills now at 16 and a half minutes. Love to see it here. Completely even game. I feel like you definitely need these things to happen. The fact that Picaz is online is kind of concerning at this point because you wanted this Viper to have a much better game than he did. Right. The Invoker, also in a situation where you're not going to have the same game as Storm Stormer just by the nature of the build you're going. You're Qua Swex this time, so you're going to fall off a little bit. So it's going to be all chips onto the Morphling here to carry this game. He can do it, but it's not a free game. You're playing against a Doom. Yeah. I think the other point that you made earlier, too, about just like in the draft, we were talking about Morphling is the be-all, end-all, strongest hero in this game. Uh, but EG, they're just going to take another hero that's really strong in this game also. And it also happens to counter out the Morph. So... They, they've got this, like, draft advantage if it goes late to some extent. And Panda will get caught for a moment. Does he get anything off first? Does not appear so. And the Vision biggest down. struggle I'm finding is going to be... Where is Toby going to find his place in this game? Yeah, and... I mean, you, you see these pickoffs that keep on happening. Maybe a sense of needing to get things going so that Toby can have a moment to do things because right now he's a spirit vessel and i don't know if it it's actually been cast that much this time last time that he built this item um, oh, no. it, it did 27 damage <laughs> yeah, I in remember. the whole game it's already done more than that don't worry all right fair the last fight he casted it two times okay for full duration didn't kill anything but he did cast it 
it does feel like that's going to be actually a, a good answer, right? If they can just keep snowballing these kills with Katomi getting track gold and stuff like that, maybe there's some avenue there. He's going towards a, a pipe too on this bounty hunter, but into the pit they go. Well, simultaneously finding a kill on the bounty. He's going to buy back immediately. See, smile. He's taking Roche with the macro pyre down. They're going to pull back this DP. Needs to be careful. Pops the Grieve. Tries to turn. Ice that down. Still. Watson forward. Walking on in. Watson. They have Doom available, but still trying to take down this Roche. EG backing away. Sunstrike out. Does a connect, but not that much damage. And then the run forward. Silence is there. Snowball to follow. The Ice Path is all chained together perfectly. And Watson didn't get the shift off. Didn't see that one coming as they get the Aegis. Find the kill on the morph. Everything coming together now for EG. Yeah, Fishman unfortunately tumbler toyed into the ice path there too, making a two for one special. But good zoning mm. there by Picaz and Whisper there, so Chris Luck could just take that Dyer's Aegis for himself. This is exactly what you want. If you're playing against a hero that has better scaling than you, you just want to take the tempo to them, shut off the map, have a net worth advantage here. And if it's a two versus one situation, which it's starting to feel like Doom and TA against this Morph, I think the Morph doesn't have much of a chance there. Yeah, and I mean, potentially later, Whisper as well. If he can keep his net worth up, which he is right now. Right now, he's just that Aura bot trying to stay alive with the BKB next. Uh, but, you know, Exo, it's no joke. Uh, and can definitely at least rip through these, like, sort of squishy supports. And I'm starting to think about Viper as a bit of a support in this game. Um, Unfortunately, he, yeah. He, he doesn't have that much that he's able to bring to the table. Um, does have the mech trying to get towards those Greaves. But 20 minutes in, a 6,000 gold lead. What do you think Entity like their game plan needs to be now? Do they need to fight with Bounty? Do they need to buy more time for Watson? Um, obviously, at this point, you're dodging the Aegis. Yeah, I, you just have to split out, give Watson some more time. It's going to be a similar scenario that EG was in last game, where Picaz was farming the map. They couldn't really take any fights. The ball is going to be in EG's court this time, where Watson has to just keep hitting the creeps. At this point in the game, it's, it's going to be a different game, because I feel like Entity, they don't have the same supports that EG had last game. I feel like their value is a lot less as far as utility and stuns go. But they're going to try running up anyway, but you have to realize that you're Entity. This is not a fight. Yeah. That, I mean, it's a, it's a bold idea going against C-Smile with the DD and an Aegis. Maybe bold is the wrong word. Uh, but <laughs> they, they are not going to take that fight. They will back away and let them take that tier too. Um, so tower down, outpost available if they want to try and claim that. And entity. They see because top. He's tracked and on the wave. Now, if you're not careful as EG, you might get smoked on by entity. Okay. They're going to try and find something. Getting even these support kills becomes that much more valuable when you're playing with the bounty hunter. Panda? They see Panda? Right. Pulls him back in. Wait for a track. Wait for a track. Wait for a track. No, don't he's wait. Coming. The, EG's coming. He's coming. Wait, Kill him and wait run. For track. Wait for track. No, they didn't wait for track. Oh, sad. <laughs> Cat Tony's so sad. sad. <laughs> C Small is live. sad too, because that what DD Aegis TA was coming on the way there. Yeah. That would have been very scary. Even though Doom was top, you can still win some of these fights, four versus five. Right. If you're EG, especially with that DD rune. So just because you have the number advantage doesn't mean you're necessarily stronger in a game like this. Okay. For now. That's, that's a good point. That's fair. I mean, I've seen a lot of teams really push that to the edge where, let's say, for example, one team has a hero that gets picked off. So now it's four versus mm. five, but the four. Oh, hold on for now. They might want to go on Whisper. He has got a BKB. This is not going to work. Uh, Static Storm down. Uh, Matthew does not appear to care. Storm Stormer is gone. Oh, they chose this moment to fight. They dodge away, and then the Doom on Watson. They catch him. The stun is there. Holy moly. EG. They hit everything just about perfectly, and they can only sit back and watch as now buildings are going to fall. 
appreciating what they're seeing. Yeah, he definitely did have a BKB. You were right, Fear. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think Entity got the memo that BKB was ready there. Glimpse into Static Storm, not super effective against the BKB, as we just witnessed there. And Storm Storm for just TPing on his face. No BKB himself either. Just gets instantly silenced and ran down. Ooh. I don't think he expected Chris Luck to have two traps placed where they were, which really helped mm. Whisper run him down, but still. A very bold play there that did not work out. I, were they just planning on... There's two things that happened there. Either they wanted to force the BKB and sacrifice Fishman for it, to be like worth mm. it in some weird way, or they just didn't know he had a BKB. <laughs> right. It didn't work out either way. They lost every single core there. Sad stuff. Tough game right now for Entity. And I don't feel like they have the same exact tools to come back into this game. Because they are lacking something called stuns right now. Which means BKB is an item where it is it makes you pretty much invulnerable this game if you pop it. Uh, what can you do against that? And when we saw Ichi come back into the last game, it was on the back of like a line stunning you before you can press your BKBs. But they will they didn't kill wait for the track stuns. again. Didn't wait for track. Very sad glimpse this time he's gonna get it right wait for track wait for track wait for track wait for track where is bound there hey go. there's the track <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be playing in my head over and over again why am i doing this to myself <laughs> i mean we do have but a he pipe has... now yeah hey and an Something. axe on morph hey. hey what do you think maybe a okay. chance i think these are of course there's a chance it's just gonna come down to execution take okay you can't stop this Doom right now. Right. You can't stop the DP. Well, you can't stop the, the TA either, so <laughs> it, it's hard. Right. I, I, that was the thing I was sort of wondering about when I saw the morph was I was thinking, oh, morph, you know, Lincoln's buyer against the Doom sounds good. Granted, Lincoln's, I think, a lot, a lot less valuable nowadays when there's AoE Doom, which I feel like all these Dooms go for. Eventually, you know what yeah. I mean? So it, it feels like they do lose some value with that. Vision, glimpse. Okay. <laughs> you don't have so a stun. Afraid. This man Dude, does not so care. Scared. They're so scared. Oh god, get out of there, Fishman! No, Fishman's gonna die. But they do have a BKB on Storm. Storm's all tracked, so they don't care. This is an intimidation smoke. Yeah, that's for movement speed. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the outer tier two towers are taken. There are traps all over the map. They will take away a couple of them. It looks like some vision down, but yeah, game, game feeling very full. I mean, I had some hope from EG last game, how they can come back in this game, but I, I got to say it straight as it is right now, For unfortunately for EG, what the hell do you do if you're Entity? You don't have a single stun on your team. You glimpse them yeah. back, and then you have to run away because you realize there's no follow-up. It's true. Well... Apparently what you do is you take this fight. This is the fight they've been waiting for. Whisper though, BKB, see smile onto Fishman, going to drop dead very quickly. They didn't have BKB on TA for this fight, but it doesn't look like they need it. Stormstormer drops the Meteor, not going to connect, not do anything. And as Watson dies to the Doom, the stomp is there. He is going to fall. Katomi also in some trouble now. Nobody from Evil Geniuses is dying. And well, for Entity... It's only Stormstormer left alive. The curse continues for Entity here. I'll, I'll try to counter curse them here by saying there's absolutely nothing they can do left in this game. Literally nothing. Maybe you can get the Scotty, but you need the Lincolns. You need so many items if you're this Morphling now. Yeah. It, it's a rough affair, to say the least here. Fishman, his drums of endurance are ready. But that is the drums of defeat more so in my eyes. That's a retreating drums, because that is not going to advance their positioning in this game. It's the, it's the drum, not the drums of slum, the drums of sad. Right, we might see a couple more fights here from Entity here. But they're just lacking any ability to deal with the BKB. Alright, they got Chris Luck, but my man's got a BKB. Yeah, He's yep, just going to turn. This item's pretty good. Well, Toby, Toby is going to die. See, Smile does take a good little chunk of damage there, but detection, they have it. Oh, he gets the blink out. Oh, no. Just like that. Doom not up for 25 seconds. Whisper pops his BKB. Does not have exorcism. Literally just right clicking. Does not appear to care one little bit. 
A <laughs> blink now. dagger BKB? Interesting. Yeah, why not? It's going for a refresher next on Whisper. Game state. Looking rough for Entity. You said it best just there. It's looking rough. Katomi can find them. They can see them. They can glimpse them. But they can't really do anything after the glimpse. That was the closest I feel like they could have been, as Katomi's gonna sacrifice himself to for D Ward. Which he didn't do. Yeah, he got the D Ward. Yeah, Fed a ward back in exchange, but. That happens. Even trade. Stormstormer, he is out on the map now, getting some good farm going. Um, I I think that I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to read like entity as a team. Because I did really like that last game where like Stormstormer was the win condition, and Watson obviously plays like amazing in terms of these late game scenarios. But I did I, I liked the way that their team looked when everybody was getting active early. I guess some of it is like this Viper sort of feels like a strange hero right now in Dota. Yeah, you know what I liked last game from them? They picked an what? offlaner like Beastmaster. Yeah. It wasn't a Viper, it wasn't a Brewmaster, it wasn't weird. It was yeah. a good Dota hero. It was stable. And I think that's what Entity lacks in a lot of the games I've seen is stability. And sure, they lost last game, but there's a fight gonna happen. I'll bring that up later. Desperation yeah, time for Toby. Running in. Does have his Greaves ready, but. Well, they're gonna run away now. Or they run back in. They want a better angle. That's what's going on. And an Ag's done on Doom. Flying out now. Retaking this area. Toby wants to throw it in. Sunstrike is out. They, they are not gonna quite get there in time. Toby's like, guys, I can do it. Oh, the ice path. Oh, the back repire. Oh, Pekka's right on top of him. Dead on that Viper. Now looking for more. The jump forward, the stun. Ah, able to dodge it with that snowball. Matthew backs away, and they have to run on the rest of Entity. Silence is there. Onto the Morph Lane. Connection from long range onto Fishman. They drop down the Static Storm, still getting Psyblade damage onto him as they are ready to go high ground again. Oof. As we are seeing now, the DD picked up for C Smile, and now looking to go down on the bottom side of the map here. As a Yule Scepter even finish for Tusk, uh, our guys on Entity definitely struggling to pull back onto this one. Watson, Aghanim's done, but you need to hit like that perfect combo. Uh, I do believe that we had Fear gone for a second, but he'll be back in a moment. Don't worry, everybody. All is good in the world. Uh, 20,000 gold lead for evil geniuses. And Hi. every time... Hello! Oh, sorry. How you doing? You're good. Right. Don't worry. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything. It's the same thing we've been seeing all game. Okay, perfect. <laughs> but we just got an Aegis on TA now, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Easy. Perfect. Oh. Daedalus? Daedalus on TA too? Not bad. Oh, goodness. Well, uh, 32 minutes in, and it is looking pretty freaking good for them, but they don't necessarily have to go high ground if they don't want to. And Entity is actually out on the map getting some farming going for themselves. You see a smoke though, here. Yeah. Oh. On to the All right. ring and goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, that'll happen. They didn't even need Doom for that. Uh-oh. It feels good to be this uh Oh, indeed. I think he was uh, agility morphing while hitting the creeps, so didn't get the morph off there, and that'll happen. And we're going to be going up to the high ground, it looks like. DD, it did get purged. Okay, a chance. They don't have TP from Doom for another five seconds. And starting to run down C Smile a bit, but can't really stand your ground against these lineups. So yeah, they are finally going to TP in the Doom. Now ready to jump on in. Find that connection on the Katomi. Oh, the glimpse with the BKB. And then tries to keep that Invoker alive, but wasn't quite going to be able to do it. Pakaz running all the way in. GG is called. Evil Genius is able to take the 2-0 over Entity. What an yeah. impressive showing. I like the Doom pick a lot. I wanted it in the first.